What is up bros and broettes, it's Slasher 44 and today we're going to be talking about the Atlas 20mm. Now this is a sniper in Advanced Warfare and it is pretty freaking good, it's pretty much always a one hit kill. Um, it's definitely very comparable to the Moors and we're going to compare the two uh, throughout this video. Uh, but real quickly I'd just like to talk about this series real quick. This series we go through all, every single weapon, talk about the best class, best variant, and uh, best way to use that gun in that week. We always do this on Monday and uh, you guys seem to really like this series. Um, I upload this every Monday like I said and on every Saturday I upload the supply drop videos now in all the supply drop videos I ask for likes and I don't normally do that in this video or in this series um, but I'd like to do that this week I just like to see how many people watch these videos and enjoy them um, so if you enjoy these videos and only if you enjoy these videos go ahead and hit that like button I just want to see how many likes we can get on these videos I'm really really curious so um, thanks guys and let's get into the video so let's start talking about the Atlas 20 millimeters so the stats we know from this gun in game are that the damage is 19 so pretty much all the way up um, accuracy is 12 fire rate is 3 range is 15 handling is 5 and mobility is 6 and as we know these numbers really don't mean too much um, we do have some numbers though so pretty much the way to look at this is the damage with the Atlas 20 millimeter is always 98 damage which is exactly the same as the Moors the part that matters is the multipliers so the multipliers get really interesting so the damage multiplier for shoot shooting someone in the head is 1.5, in the neck is 1.5, in the chest is 1.5, belly is 1.1, arms is 1.5, so that's right, you can get a one hit kill for shooting someone in the arms, and thighs is 1.1. So that means that you will get a one hit kill everywhere except the belly and thighs when the person is moving. So. It's always a one-hit kill when the person is still. When someone is moving, it can be a two-bullet kill, but only if you hit them in the belly or thighs. So you want to be aiming for anything but that with this gun. Now, this gun is really cool. Um, it's like shooting a rocket launcher. It reminds me of the rocket launcher from Halo, actually, um, the way you scope in. Um, one thing to note about this gun is you can't fire it from the hip, so there will be no no-scoping with this gun, which is kind of cool. They're trying to eliminate trick-shotting. It's a little interesting way of how they're doing it. Um, so that's kind of cool. Other stats with this gun is the fire rate is 300 RPM and it has a really, really small magazine at four uh, rounds in a magazine. So that's really, really low. So let's talk about a best class and then we'll talk about the best variant for this gun. So the best class, the way I like to set this up is one of two ways. Either I like to use my basic class setup where I use um, lightweight, low profile, blast suppressor, and toughness, or I like to use overkill and uh, use a secondary weapon, either the BAL or the ASM-1. That's what I use for Search and Destroy. If you want to see that entire class, go ahead and uh, check out my best class for ranked play setup. Just go to my channel and search it. You will find it there. Um, and that class is pretty good. You use Overkill, you use a, either a BAL or an ASM-1 with your sniper, um, and then you use Fast Hands, because Fast Hands is really important, so you can switch from that sniper to that other primary weapon really, really quick. I use that a lot in Search and Destroy. Um, now, let's talk about the best variant for this gun, because this is really interesting, and I really do think that there is a uh, option of using two. Now, there is one you definitely don't want to use, um, it's called the Interrupt, and it's just horrible, it actually makes it so you almost never get a one-hit kill, so don't use that one, that's for sure. Uh, the one you want to use is an Elite version, it's the Virtuosity, and it seems like it would suck. The effects are actually, uh, mobility is up three, damage is down three. However, like COD, this COD likes to screw with us sometimes, that damage down 3 does absolutely nothing. Ch doesn't change the damage or uh, multipliers whatsoever for the gun. So that is the one you're going to want to be using. Um, the snapper is also really good. The snapper is the other elite version of this gun. It's uh, up fire rate, uh, but down 3 handling, or yeah, sorry, handling, which means... Um, your idle sway is a lot higher. Now, what what should you use? Should you be using the Moors or should you be using the Atlas 20 millimeter? If you are someone who likes aiming down sights, the Atlas 20 millimeter is for you. Reason being, this is pretty much always a one hit kill. Uh, pretty much every single bullet you fire from this gun, if it's on someone, it'll kill them. The difference is with the Moors is, first of all, you can shoot from the hip, you aim down sights faster and um, you move around with it faster, which means it's a lot better for quick scoping. That is the difference between the two snipers. Um, so that's all I got for you today, guys. Like I said, if you enjoyed the video, hit me up with a like button. Thank you for watching, everyone. And until next time, peace out.